Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to write a cloud function that takes data from PubSub and moves it into a Firestore document. If you want to jump ahead, here are the video timestamps. First, we're going to set up the PubSub and Firebase environments. Then we're going to write the cloud function in TypeScript. And then we're going to come back and add in JSON support because this is natively supported in Firebase. Now we're going to set up the environment. We're going to need PubSub and Firebase. So first thing I'm going to do is come up here and type PubSub, choose it. It's enabling the PubSub API right now. If you want an in-depth video on how to use PubSub, I have a link in the description below. I'm going to create a topic, and for this whole video, and for most of my videos, I'm trying to make a robotic farm. So this one I'm going to call Environmental Sensors. I'll add a default subscription and create topic. Okay, my topic and my subscription have been created. I'll go to View Messages. I'll choose the subscription it just made. And when we're ready, we'll click pull and we'll see the messages that we're publishing. I'll open another tab and go to firebase.google.com, then go to console. I wanna add a project. I'm not gonna write in a new name. I'm gonna choose my robot farm project and continue and confirm blaze and continue again. And this time it's important that we do enable Google Analytics. We need that for Firebase's version of Cloud Functions. Continue. And for Google Analytics, I'll just choose the default account, add Firebase, and continue again. Now on the Firebase side, we need to enable Firestore and Functions. So first I'll go to Firestore, create database. We'll start in test mode. Next. And I'll make this choice local to me and enable. Okay, now we'll go over to Functions, get started. Now in a terminal, I'll type npm install minus g, so global, firebase-tools. I'll also make sure I'm logged in, so firebase login. I choose my account, I click allow, and now I'm logged in. Back on firebase, continue, and instead of just writing firebase init, what we're actually going to do is write firebase init functions. We're going to use an existing project, it will be the robot farm, and I want to use TypeScript. I don't want to use ESLint right now. Do you want to install dependencies? Yes. And now I can open that up in my code editor, and I can see Firebase has added a lot of files for us. If we go into functions, source, index.ts, this is the file that we're going to be working on for our cloud function. So I'll come back over, I'll click finish, and when we upload our cloud function, it will be in the dashboard here. And when we need to see logs, we'll come over to the logs. So I'm going to remove the commented code that they have. We won't be using that. The first thing we need to add is access to the Firebase admin SDK. And here's the wrapper for our function. We're creating a function called insert from PubSub. And this is a Firebase function that hooks into PubSub and specifically when the topic of environmental sensors gets published. So what we'll have access to is message and context. Message is the data that's passed. Context is the metadata about the data that's passed. I'll start with a console log that's just going to show when this message was published. Next, I'll retrieve the message body. So the message body is message.data. And if it exists, we're going to turn it into a string. And if not, it'll be null. Then I will simply log that. And after message body, I want to work with message attributes. So I'm going to pass a few variables into there. Sensor name, temperature, and humidity. So I'll try to read these in message.attributes.sensorName.temperature and .humidity. And I will console log those. And if there's an error, we'll catch it. And finally, I want to make an object of just the sensor information. And this object is going to have everything we've just pulled in. We're going to use the Firebase admin SDK to go to Firestore, to go to the collection called environmental sensors, which we haven't created. It will create this for us. And it's going to add a new document with this sensor info object. So I'll come back over. I want to make sure I'm working on the right project in gcloud. So I'll type gcloud config list. I'm working on the wrong project. So I'll type gcloud projects list. And to choose the right project, I'll type gcloud config set project. And then I'll grab the project ID for robot farm. OK, now I'm on the right project, and I can deploy our Firebase function. So I write Firebase deploy dash dash only functions. OK, that finished. It just took about three minutes, maybe four. I can come back over to Firebase and refresh the functions dashboard. And here we have our function insert from PubSub. And I'll open a new tab for my terminal. And I'm going to publish a message to PubSub. So gcloud pubsub topics publish, and then the name of the topic, environmental sensors, dash dash message with my message inside, 
dash dash attribute. And here I'm going to say sensor name equals comma temperature equals comma humidity equals. Now one thing to keep in mind when you send a message in terminal, attribute is single. But over in your code for your cloud function, attributes is plural. I think it actually works single as well in the code, but in your terminal it has to be singular. Okay, that was sent. I can come to PubSub, pull. I have a new message that happened right now. And Firebase takes a little time. Right. There we go. Now it just came in. We can see that our function fired and we can see all our console logs, sensor name, temperature, humidity, and the full message. And if we go to Firestore database, environmental sensors was created. We have a new document and we have all these values. Okay, it's really nice that we can put in the message body and we can use attributes to get other info. But if you want to add JSON data, Firebase actually has a native feature where you can use JSON inside the message body. So originally we had message body is message.data and then we just cast it to a string. So I'm going to comment this out. And now when I write to PubSub, my message itself is going to have JSON data. And you can just say message.json dot whatever the key is. So I'll say sensor location. And then I'm going to console log this and down at the bottom, when I build my object that's going to be the new Firebase document, I'll say sensor location is sensor location. I'll go back to the terminal and I'll upload this Firebase deploy only functions. And as this is uploading, I'll come back over to the topic for PubSub. This is the topic that we had worked with. Now I'm going to come in and say message equals and then in a JSON object, sensor location backyard. And keep in mind, since this is JSON, the inner quotes have to be double, the outer quotes are single. So I'll copy that. Okay, our function's deployed again. I'll go to my other tab. And now my message, instead of just being a plain sentence, sensor data ready, my message is a JSON object that says what the sensor location is. Enter. And we have a new object. And there we are. Okay, so it gives sensor name, temperature, humidity, and location of backyard. It pulls everything out for us. I really hope you enjoy this. This was actually a really difficult project for me. So if you are struggling and have any questions, let me know and I'll answer every single one you have. Thank you.